Hi there and welcome back to Japan where we're going to be checking out a little bit more of a band who we've only heard once before. Let's get the hat the right way around. Um, and who I quite like the first time out, but um, I'm surprised it's been so long getting back to them. But, you know, it's one of those things. We've got so many suggestions coming in on this channel and so many little features and things we've been doing. It's taken a while to get back around to them, but I'm excited to hear them again. Uh, the band's name, uh, I've never actually confirmed 100% how you're supposed to say it. Uh, the Japanese phonetic alphabet's been used to write it, so it comes across as Elfride. But from what I can tell, I've seen it written in English a few times before, and I think their name is supposed to be like a French word or something. So I'm not 100% whether I should trust this phonetic translation or whether they want it to be pronounced a different way. But who knows? I'm not getting into it. I'm just going to call them Elfride for now, because that's what it says. And uh, this song is called Vibration. Now, I was first recommended to them as a little bit of like an alternative to the fact that I've really enjoyed the music of Silent Siren. And I was kind of told, well, these guys have got a similar vibe, um, maybe a little bit heavier. They don't appear to have the sort of keyboard element, which is one of the things that I must admit I do think actually elevates Silent Siren quite a lot. But I was told this is the sort of band that you could probably get into if you get into them. And, you know, I'm into very, very many different types of music, which is one of the reasons I enjoy doing this so much, and Japanese music particularly. So, you know, I, I think there's a lot to be... Uh, enjoyed about this group but obviously as always we're honest on this channel I'm going to be looking for things I like as well as the things I dislike and seeing what we can say about it anyway so after a, a promising first song and they definitely do come across as really good musicians here is Elfride again Elfride Elfride something like that with the song Vibration let's check this out and talk more afterwards That news going in the heavier direction. We've got like a light up fretboard, haven't you? Bit of a straight pop rock intro, but you can never dislike that. Is it going to break down to just bass and vocals? Let's see. <laughs> Cool sort of stabby guitar line in the background there. So what are they going to build it up to? Looking for a big chorus in this one, I think. Okay, this is an interesting chorus, like a nice long melody line as well there, it doesn't just sort of break down into repeating itself. Like the change of key for the second verse. quite straight rock. There's a lot of really interesting ideas in the writing. I like the performance, I like the whole feel. It's got a great melody to go with it as well. It's got good development, just um... Let's see, are they going to go for a guitar solo in the verse? In the bridge? Ooh, a good sun bridge. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys think of this one as well, because I've got a, a lot of interesting thoughts on this. But one thing that you can't deny, it definitely works. They knew what they wanted to make and they made it well.
Yeah. Hmm. All right. My attention has been gained. <laughs> All right, there's a lot to unpack on this one. Uh, yeah, so I, I do I do really want to know what people think about this in the comments. And I'll just tell you why that is first of all. Because before we get into anything um, too much about the writing, stylistically it's very interesting. It seems to have... Um, more of a hard rock edge, you know, uh, compared to something like Silent Siren, obviously the vocal register is a little bit lower, a little bit more sort of full rather than sort of the light and fun sound that you usually get with Silent Siren. So a little bit more of a lower and full register on the vocals. The guitars are a little bit more growling. There's all that sort of, um, hard rock energy to it and yet at the same time the way it's delivered like the singer she's not singing she's not like sort of bursting her lungs out she's kind of singing in a melodic way she's not pushing her voice um the guitars are you know very distorted and very growly but they're quite compressed as well they're not pushed too high up in the mix or anything like that um so there's this feeling that it's both um if you look at it from a positive standpoint which i think personally i am sort of leaning towards a positive view on this one then you could say well it's both excessively you know sort of uh melodic and at the same time it's got enough body to sort of have a rock feel to it if you looked at it in a more negative light you could say that from a pop perspective it's maybe not got enough interesting different sounds to make it uh, more poppy and from a rock perspective you could say it's a bit too compressed and too smooth to have much bite so I mean from both a pop and a rock perspective you could see this in a positive or negative light and I would completely sympathize with you either way it seems to straddle a line between um, hard rock and that sort of uh, poppy sound that you get from uh, lighter bands and it does it with, uh, I think to me, it seems it really works. It seems like it's a really good way of doing it, but I can equally see how that would push away uh, more hardcore fans of either of those genres. So like I said, I'm really interested in your comments, but anyway, I'm gonna go in a little bit more into detail as to what I think about this. Now, first of all, the positives of the writing. I do think this is really well written. Um, I think that one of the things that comes across quite nicely, like I say, is the melody. The melody is very well structured. It has um, that chorus line is quite well developed. Uh, I've said this before, sometimes you can get some of the more catchy choruses have a very sort of short chorus line. If you think about those most catchy and possibly irritating uh, songs you've ever heard in your life, they've usually got a fairly short chorus line that you could sing in four bars or just in a few, case of a few seconds, and then it repeats round and round and round. Whereas some of the more classic songs, you know, the real sort of famous ones that stick with people as being like quality choruses, tend to be a bit longer and more developed and takes a longer time to sing the entire um uh, entire chorus and so that to me is more what this is this is more of a developed melody uh, so as a result it's not immediately as catchy but it's one of those ones where I think if you listen to this song several times that chorus would start to really burrow itself into your brain and it would be more rewarding um, so I think having only heard this is the first time doing this is a first time reaction I get the feeling this song has a lot of potential on re-listens to become more and more of a catchy one uh, and be something that you come back to more and more. Right now, though, like I'd say, not the most catchy song, but certainly a very enjoyable melody in the chorus. Um, as for the whole sound of it, it was very thick and full. Like I say, I like the uh, singer's voice and the way that everything kind of had like a intensity to it, but it didn't uh, come across as too sort of jangly and too raw to the point of uh, being, uh, if you like, messy. Uh, it did feel like everything was produced with a, a real sort of clean sheen that made it sound quite controlled, made everything very easy to hear. Um, so yeah, there was a lot of good things there, like the way that the backing changed. Like I so say, when it came into the second verse, there was that bit where there was a slight key change where everything moved up a few chords compared to where it had been sitting before. Uh, little things like that. There was detail in the, you know, the way it developed. You had the stabby bits in the verse. You had the, um, you had the sort of more strumming choruses. And obviously the bridge was nice as well. Nice proper sung bridge. Bridge. nothing against the guitar solos but I do like it when the melody takes a different turn in the bridge and you get a, like a melodic sung bridge that's always a great thing when that works so there's a lot of good points there um, maybe if we were looking slightly the negative side uh, the musicianship although very good here um, and although the writing does a lot of uh, interesting things to keep the song from getting tired or repetitive at any point, maybe there could have been a few more flares and fills and little things from the musicians just to fill in the gaps. I am thinking kind of in, I'm not saying they go completely this way, but I'm thinking kind of in a similar ilk to things like Bandmade, who they... Um, 
maybe it's too much for some people, but I think that what they do is no member ever really seems to be showing off, but there's lots of little fills and things that happen throughout the music that keep it interesting. These guys took a bit more of a straight approach, I think, in playing this, uh, but that might just well be a stylistic thing. Um, there isn't really much I can safely criticize about this outside of that. I think this is very much going to come down to a tasting. I think the quality is undoubtedly there. I think the quality is undoubtedly there. I think it's a great song. I think it's well written. It's got a good melody. Um, I think it just comes down to, as a listener, do you like your sounds kind of got, sorry, I got something stuck between my teeth. Which I'm, mm, 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 apologies. Uh, no editing on this channel. So as a listener, are you someone who, when you hear your hard rock, do you want it to sound live? Do you want everything to sound raw and like it's sort of biting and, you know, it's got to have a real bite to it? If you do, then I can understand this is not going to work for you. This is going to sound too smooth. It's going to sound too compressed. It's going to sound maybe even a bit lifeless. If, however, you are naturally attuned to sort of, or you just have a taste for more produced music and you like your sounds to sound a little bit more full and a little bit more... Um, uh, when I say edited, I mean that in a positive way. Uh, edited is in sort of crafted in the in the studio process. Then I think you could actually find this really enjoyable. I think it certainly sounds like everyone on board knew how they wanted it to sound. It does sound very full. It does kind of have like almost a pop quality to the production, whilst also being kind of a, a hard rock, semi-aggressive song. Um, yeah, there's a lot to like about this. There really is. And uh, personally, I would say that from my perspective. Uh, I think that, like, like I said, I think this is one that's going to take a little while to work out just how catchy I find it in the long term, but I definitely would come back to this. And I actually, I definitely am going to come back to this. I'm going to give this future listens, and it certainly is selling me on the fact that this is a band with a uh, high quality level, and I really, you know, I really hope to see them sort of coming up through the ranks, because at the moment, they've only got sort of a moderate level of fame from what I can tell, and I will be checking out more of their music on this channel. As always, I do that via our Reddit suggestion thread. If there are already suggestions for more of their songs i will be doing that but if you want to suggest more yourself get in there and drop me more suggestions link in the description below as well as there's also a link to our discord if you want to just chat lots of music all the time or you can comment like subscribe there's patreon all of these things a massive thank you to our patreon supporters for keeping this channel looking nice and posters and lights and good microphones and cameras and things it's all down to you guys. Really appreciate it. We're not monetized, as you know. So anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. And until I see you next time on my next video, hopefully soon for now. Ciao, ciao. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out more of our hundreds of videos we've got online on this channel right now, or get involved in the discussion with us at the many social media links we've got in the description below, where you can suggest new videos and eyes for us to check out on the channel. Or you can just do the usual YouTube stuff and you know, comment, like, subscribe. You know how this works by now.